All right, welcome back in to Enshrouded. This is the Melodies of the Mire patch, and uh, we got a bunch of new stuff. I'm going to show you the crafting items, things you can decorate your base with today. I am turned this way for a reason. Spoilers ahead. If you don't want spoilers, don't watch this video. I'm going to put timestamps below of the various sections we're going to be going. I've kept them kind of in the same vein together. We are going to start with fencing. That whole entire line all the way down is all fencing. So these first four here are called Palisade. Just Palisade. That's it. They're all called the same thing. And they are just what you had imagined you would expect to have in a battlefield to uh, be your anti-personnel, anti-vehicle. Uh, then we have, I believe these are crude... Crude wooden fence. Uh, these guys right here. So just broken up fences. Pretty cool. Uh, most of this stuff is your just your workbench. There's now ten different options at your workbench. These two monstrosities here are called gate. Crude wooden gate. Big big boys. Very cool. Place them at the entrance to your place. Very very nice. We got a couple fences. Tall crypt fence, crypt fence. So probably we're supposed to come out with the hollow halls and they, I don't know, didn't have them ready or something. Very nice indeed. Very large. Outstanding for making your wonderful crypt. And now we have, I want to say this is graveyard. Graveyard fence. So all four of these are named the same. You have an intact and then two various decayed versions, and then you have your corner posts with some cool uh, rusted uh, staining on it from the uh, r uh, rotting iron as, as uh, it gets rusted away. And then you have prison fence. We can make prisons now. With one exception, they didn't give us a door. I don't know what's going on in life. How are you going to give us prison fences and not give us a prison door? Anyway, <laughs> we didn't get a door with it. I'm going to walk past the obvious. What is that? We're going to come over here. And now we are on VUCA Shrine. There's eight total. And they are huge. Some of them. And then some of them are little big guys. Still bigger than I am. But really cool. All th these first two rows here are going to be all about the VUCA. The VUCA uh, have been expanded. They're a little faction. Uh, you'll find them all over the swamp. The mire, excuse me. And these are two little VUCA windows that are called Rustic Window Frame. Very cool if you want to make a nice little treehouse kind of jobby. Let's come over here to second row of VUCA. These are going to be their Tables. We're going to start off with rustic side table. Very nice tree stumpy kind of looking thing. Move over to rustic table. Very cool. And then banquet table, yeah? Banquet table. Love it. It looks really neat. Of course, got some chairs. Want to sit down in some uh, rustic, it's exactly what you would think, rustic chair, and then rustic bench. Very cool indeed. And then a bed. So we have an actual, I don't know what you want to call this, bird's nest bed. Very neat. It is called rustic bed. And then their door. Now the doors are actually the next section, but since this is VUCA, I figured I'd put the VUCA door right here, and it is called Rustic Door. Now let's get to one of the things everybody's wondering about. This monstrosity! It is called Huge Crypt Door, and huge it is. Uh, I do want to warn you, <laughs> uh, this is not an FPS drop. It actually operates like this. My FPS is not moving. If I spin around, I'm smooth, but yeah, the 
the the doors move quite uh maybe it's on purpose because they are so big this is large crypt door it's to uh give a sense of man these things are big I like the sound effects very nice I think this one's going to be the most popular. It's going to be a hard time to find people that have a spot for that big boy. Now, this one's labeled fence. It's not a fence, obviously. It is a door. I don't know who uh, labeled it fence, but, you know, fence, door, yeah, reasons. Very cool. And here is your hidden door. This is your secret temple door. This goes along with the uh, VUCA Temple. VUCA Temple Stones. All right. So we got the start of our scav fantasy. If you want to build a scav camp and just be the but dirty old scav. But we only got one item. Uh, we can, however, cook at it. So that's cool. We can sit here and roast something. I don't have any food, but we, we can do it if you want to. Now, right off of here, right off of the graveyard, we have grave stones. I, of course, didn't put one in here because I'm silly. But these are grave stones. Very neat. Got some uh, runes etched into them. Very nice looking. They do have a front. It's not a two-sided type of thing. Very cool. And then, holy crap! <laughs> we finally got the banners we asked for. Giant Hall, Medium Hollow Hall, and then Broken Hollow Hall. They are ridiculous, and I love them. I love them so much. And watch this. They are uh, transparent to the character. There's no, no uh, collision to them. So I can already see people hiding uh, secret entrances behind these big massive boys, and they're great. So I did a, a height comparison here. You have the big boy is four stories minus two individual blocks. That's how tall it is. This one here is two stories plus one block. And then this guy is one story plus two blocks. So if you were looking to put them up, that is how high. This guy is so high, it's the literal highest you can reach before you it says out of range. You can't, you can't go one level up higher, and you can see I've got them to where they're as low as they can get without touching. And then there's another oddity. So I put all these in line. You can see the, the beams are in line, but you notice they don't hang in line. The broken and the, and the big boy hang in line, but the medium hangs inset a little bit. It's a bit of an oversight by the devs that they're not all the same. So for those with some OCD, it's going to be a bit of a bit annoying that they don't all hang the same, but it is what it is. I'm happy we got them. And I'm not going to complain too much. So let's move on to the building stuffs. We start with VUCA Temple Stone. I don't love it. It's a pain to build with, too, because the way it looks, it's really hard to set it. So let's go to this here. So it's really hard to figure out where the edge is. Turn snapping off. So it looks like it would be maybe there, but it's actually here because it adds this weird uh, jut out portion. If I do that, it goes to there. And it makes it hard even when you place walls near the stairs. It guts. The stairs actually went, I almost fell off. Stairs actually went up one tier higher. I tried to put these on top of it, but it didn't work and it just ate the stair. It is what it is. So, some nice roundy bits, and apparently I can fall into it. That's not the best thing ever. Alright. Um, kind of some veiny, tree root-y looking kind of, kind of job. Because, they, you know, they live in the forest. Next, we're going to go to plated block. Both of these blocks are found in the new zone. And this pairs with another material, VUCA nesting material, to make their houses. So this is the inside, while the VUCA nesting material is the outside, and that's how you make the VUCA house. And uh, it's, it is wood, essentially, so pretty neat. 
um, a, a play on the wood look to it. I can dig it. This one is your brick timbered block. This is found in Fort Kelvin. It's obvious. I mean, it, as soon as you go into Fort Kelvin, you, you're you going there for a reason. It's a quest. And you'd be like, hey, I don't remember that being there. And then you find it while you're looking for the quest item. So, yeah, pretty cool. We got some uh, half brick, half timber. Nice. Real hedges. Foliage. We got real hedges now. Instead of the fake hedges that, we, w that I would make. I got one over here somewhere. Way over there. Yeah. Yeah. Real hedges. And they're awesome. And you can do any size you want, obviously. And I love kind of how it moves. When I walk through it, it's cool. So this material is going to be the Black Mire Bark. It's actually sometimes by itself and sometimes the inner portion is what's next to it. And it's interesting. Might be difficult to add as building material, but... But it's certainly interesting. It gives us something else to build with, and I never complain about that. This I love. Black Mire Heartwood. It's gorgeous. I love the uh, wood rings to it. It's amazing. This could be used in the desert biome. Could be used in other things. Tree houses. All kind. It's. I love it. I love it so much. This one, I think some people don't realize where you get it. So... All of these here are found in the new biome. And this bad boy, when you're there, there are what looks like giant hornet nests. Uh, that's what these are. There are also the things you jump on when you are uh, ascending up in the new ancient spire. And this is what it looks like when you build a little uh, vertical deal. Interesting. Um, once again, I don't know exactly what you'll use this to build with, but cool. And then lastly, we have the VUCA nesting material. And I could see this being interdispersed to make some like really good thatch looking roof. Um, kind of interdisperse that in maybe. Pretty cool. Uh, this is not remotely everything that it came out with. Uh, there's weapons and instruments and music and all kinds of other stuff. I just wanted to showcase the building since that's pretty much what my channel is. I will showcase one more thing, and you're looking at it right now. If I hit N, you'll notice that what I look like is not what I'm wearing. So we have this new thing called Customize Appearance. And you can see that while I'm wearing the Elder Hat, I'm showing the Deerstalker Hood or... I can hide my hood. If I wanted to show my little hobbit mug, or put it back. The, I, I think it fits well, I just don't love these little tassels that hang down, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, you can add to them, you just click on it, and whatever you have available, you can pop in, change, do whatever you want. Uh, I don't have the gloves, because I thought the warlock gloves I was already wearing fit very well. I'm still uncertain about whether I think the sage boots fit or if I should just have some some brown boots uh, there was another uh, pair that worked fine but it works I mean it, it does it's a nice looking outfit I like it it's better than the uh, elder outfit I've never really cared for it too much to be honest and that's cool that's another cool addition uh, we did also H if you can see now it says in use this number is wrong. It's missing one because there's 115 now instead of 112 like there was. There are... Let's go up here. Once again, I said spoilers before. Your new biome. Okay. All this area, there are three new shroud roots. So you get three new points. Um, ancient Shrine, which is missing the fast travel I placed. I'll have to place that back again. Okay, fun. Oh, I'm on my home. That's why it's missing it. That's right. So, yeah. Uh, fun times. Uh, the use of verticality in this area is insane. This tree is way bigger than you think it is. Like, way, way bigger. Very cool update. Thank you, Keen. Uh, 
Have fun, builders. Uh, enjoy all the awesome... God, I love that banner. That's good. Man, it's going to make the hollow hall in the public resource world so much cooler when I can place those things. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.